Hey friends, welcome to Cozy Time Tales. Today we're going to be reading Me and My Dragon by David Bidirzuki. Me and My Dragon Some kids want a dog, others want a cat. I want... A dragon! But not a big dragon. A big dragon wouldn't fit in my house. I wouldn't want a three-headed dragon either. It might not get along with itself. I'd choose a fire-breathing dragon. Before I brought him home, I'd take him for a checkup. I'd hold his hand and tell him he was a brave little dragon. I'd make sure the doctor gave him a couple of lollipops. On the way home, he could sit with me, if mom and dad didn't mind. I'd give him a name, a place to stay, and some toys to play with. When I thought he was ready, I'd teach him to fly. Uh-oh. You. I'd get him a collar and a leash. Then I'd take him for a walk every day. If he was a naughty dragon, I might have to send him to school. After he learned to behave, I could take him camping in the summer and trick-or-treating in the fall. We could clear neighbors' driveways in the winter. But I might not take him kite flying in the spring. If I missed the bus, he would help me get to school just in time for show and tell. Bullies? If you have a dragon, you don't need to worry about bullies. Sweet! You don't need to worry about Brussels sprouts either. Dragons love them. But don't give them broccoli. It gives them gas. And you don't want a fire-breathing dragon with gas. Every night, I'd give my dragon a bath. Bath time would be fun. Sometimes. I would pick out books that wouldn't give him nightmares and read to him until he got sleepy. I'd tuck him in and say goodnight. Then we'd fall asleep. Just me and my dragon. The end. Thanks for watching Cozy Time Tales. Subscribe!